with Sonnet Technologies here at ESV TV to talk about Sonnet's comprehensive line of Thunderbolt 2, the PCIe card expansion chassis. We have the broadest line uh, of chassis to suit every single need, starting with the Echo Express SEL single slot chassis, SE1 single slot chassis, SE2 dual slot chassis, Echo Express 3D for desktop, and the Echo Express 3R for rack mount. Now let me just walk you through them one at a time. Uh, and starting with the SEL. The Echo Express SEL is a single slot chassis that's primarily used to support network interface cards like uh, gigabit or 10 gigabit ethernet, fiber channel cards or RAID storage cards. It's a low profile, very small, just enough to handle the half height, half link PCIe card that might go in there. There are a few video cards uh, that are low profile cards uh, on the market as well, even some that are 4K, but this is uh, particularly popular for those who want the minimalist size of chassis for the very smallest cards. Its sister chassis, also a single slot chassis, is the Echo Express SE1, and this uh, chassis will support one uh, full height half length PCIe card uh, and it has a double slot space to allow uh, a double wide card or a daughter card uh, that sometimes accompanies uh, a card like for example the RME Matty FX card or Blackmagic um, a deck link card uh, will fit in here nicely. It gives me an opportunity to showcase some of the features that all of the products have in common. They all come up with a, th with a Thunderbolt cable and they all come with uh, Sonnet's trademark uh, Thunderlock locking Thunderbolt connector to allow you to optionally secure the cable uh, with a thumb screw to the chassis so it won't come off accidentally. Uh, th these products all uh, are cooled, cool the cards with a uh, uh, automatic temperature controlled fan. There's a temperature sensor, there's the mister inside each of the chassis and it monitors the internal temperature of the chassis closest to the card and determines the fan speed. One of the things that we're well known for is ultra quiet uh, fans and one of the ways that we minimize the uh, uh, the noise uh, from the chassis or through the variable speed fan so that we only provide as much airflow as the cards, uh, specific cards need under the load conditions that they're experiencing. The next uh, product up is the SE2. Similar to the SEL, it, it'll support two uh, full height, half length cards. Uh, and uh, one of those cards can be a double wide card um, uh, for, you know, or a, a card with a daughter card. Uh, this is one of our most popular chassis because uh, many people, for example, prefer um, to leave a little bit of headroom when they uh, add an expansion chassis um, into their lineup. They have a card they have in mind, maybe a graphics card like a, a Kona card from AJA or a Decklink card from Blackmagic or uh, add a uh, Avid Native card but they have another, want another slot space to do something else with it. Maybe a storage uh, uh, adapter, maybe one of our PCIe SSD cards uh, to add additional internal storage, um, fast Thunderbolt uh, supported storage within the same chassis. So uh, even though uh, there's a need for one card, uh, having a dual slot chassis uh, seems to make a, a lot of sense to provide for something else that may come up that would be important. Moving on to the Echo Express 3D and 3R, they're identical products in that they are three slot chassis. Um, this is distinguished uh, in the fact that it has an internal power supply, whereas the SC1, SEL, and SE2 use an external power supply. 
This has a built-in uh, power supply and supports uh, three full height, full length carts. So you can see um, it's a larger chassis. The, um, the cards that come to mind are like the Avid HDX card uh, and the uh, Red Rocket uh, and the Red Rocket X cards are all full height, full length cards. Uh, they um, require uh, auxiliary power, and so this is a 300 watt has a 300 watt power supply, and has a auxiliary power supplies for those cards that need it, like the HDX cards, so you can power them. So this will actually accommodate up to uh, HDX3. Uh, it has two Thunderbolt ports, as uh, accommodates the Thunderlock locking connector. It comes with a Thunderbolt cable. And it also has two BNC holes, which allow you to um, um, uh, mount BNC connectors that normally appear on a, on a bracket uh, that takes up a slot space. And so we allow you to uh, move uh, it off of the bracket, freeing up the slot space for something important and mounting the uh, connectors here on the outside of the chassis. Uh, twin, uh, very quiet slow moving fans uh, to cool any Thunderbolt compatible uh, card that's available. And the Echo Express 3R is the same three slot chassis but it's in a 2U rack mount format and uh, with it we provide a space for what we call the um, mobile rack kit. And the mobile rack kit basically is uh, a place for you to mount storage. Uh, two five and a quarter inch uh, bay uh, storage can accommodate a lot of things. It can accommodate eight uh, two and a half inch drives, whether SSD or spinning drives, LTO tape, our QIO media reader, um, Blu-ray burners. There's a whole range of drive combinations that can be mounted. Uh, we offer the basic mobile rack device mounting kit and um, we also have pre-configured bundles is the best way to call it where we provide the PCIe card that goes into one of the expansion slots in the chassis and then we also provide uh, the appropriate cables to connect up to all of the drives. In the case of the SATA cables we also have locking SATA connectors on those cables. All you have to do is uh, add the, the uh, actual drives themselves and you're ready to go. Very popular uh, model is the Mac Pro Migration Edition. A lot of people are moving from the old Mac Pro Tower. They've got several uh, cards uh, in the Mac Pro. They move them over into the chassis, and the Echo Express 3R, and then they um, take their drives out of the drive bays and move them into the, the three, three and a half inch uh, drive bays in that um, Mac Pro uh, Migration Edition mobile rack kit. I'll we'll talk about a few popular workflows uh, that involve the Echo Express 3R. Uh, one is where somebody has a new Mac Pro, they like the way it looks on their desk, they got their nice 4K display hooked up to it or maybe two 4K displays hooked up to it, but they also have expansion cards whether they're um, UAD cards, HDX cards, graphic cards, uh, network interface cards, or combinations of those, uh, or storage interface cards, and they've got a lot of storage they want to rack up uh, to support that Mac Pro. They can put that in the machine room, and using an optical Thunderbolt cable, they can um, connect from the Mac Pro to all the expansion in the machine room, uh, conveniently rack mounted. Echo Express 3D also is extremely popular uh, with uh, front of house and uh, monitoring um, uh, engineers uh, on the road. It's uh, rugged, it rack mounts well, provides everything you need and can endure months and years of, of touring without any problem. What's uh, popular is to take a, our Rack Mac Mini product, which will hold <coughs> one or two Mac Minis and a 1U rack mount, and then connect the Mac Mini over Thunderbolt to the Echo Express uh, 3R mounted below it. So in a, 
in a uh, four in a three U rack space. You've got the Mac Mini. You've got uh, three uh, slots of expansion, usually like two HDX cards, plus a storage card that supports the drives that are in the mobile rack device mounting kit. Very popular for uh, on the road uh, front of house work. The entire family of Echo Express uh, Thunderbolt 2 expansion chassis are upgradable to Thunderbolt 3. Uh, at the right time, we'll be offering an upgrade card. You can replace that card uh, easily in all of these chassis and then be able to connect to whatever the latest Thunderbolt 3 equipped computer uh, is uh, in the future. And you could even move cards back and forth. You could have a Thunderbolt 2 card sometimes for connecting to Thunderbolt 2 equipped computers and a Thunderbolt 3 card for connecting to the new Thunderbolt 3 equipped computers as you introduce them into your lineup. So cards interchangeable uh, and all these products are easily upgradable. That's it for our lineup of Echo Express Thunderbolt 2 to PCIe card expansion chassis. Check us out at www.sonatech.com.